Anime is filled with incredible warriors. From humble space cowboys to immortal, ruthless demons, the list is simply overwhelming. Each can possess special abilities, unique fighting styles, and weapons that complement them perfectly. But what if one could take these separate attributes and combine them for themselves? How powerful could they become? What feats would they be able to accomplish? In this series, I intend to answer just that. Let's build an unchecked warrior. If there's one thing the anime can capture beautifully, it's the sheer scale of their worlds. Grand man-made structures and cities, larger-than-life animals and mythical creatures, and of course the intimidating stature of giant fighters. These can range from mech warriors, titanic avatars created by a character's unique power, or just naturally born giants. Most of these characters tend to rely on their overwhelming strength when engaged in combat, rarely relying on technique. Only when facing off against opponents of equal stature will they take using special weapons into account. I think it's long past time we give the anime community a giant that truly stands above all others, in skill, in power, and badass armor. <laughs> That's right, we're taking a second dive into a Kame got killed this episode. Hey, I guess it can't really be helped, can it? With all the creative weapons shown in this anime, I could likely make a separate series dedicated to praising every single one. But today, we're going to be focusing on the one that's wielded by the main protagonist, Tatsumi, throughout most of the anime. The demon armor, Incursio. <laughs> As the name implies, this is an armor type imperial arm. When sealed, the armor takes the form of a short sword with a chain link tassel on the bottom of its hilt. When released, however, it envelops the user in a white and black full suit of armor. It also has the ability to summon a long spear like weapon called Niratot, but it is only used by those who prefer to fight with an edged weapon. Like all imperial arms, Incurzo was crafted as the ultimate failsafe by the decree of the first emperor, who feared that the empire he had founded would eventually fall. Also like all Imperial Arms, Incursio was made by using the remains of legendary deadly creatures in order to ensure its effectiveness in serving the Empire throughout the generations. Once matched with a worthy master, Incursio grants its wielder enhanced strength, speed, and durability ten times over. The sire of this fiery set of armor is the superclass danger beast known as the Tyrant, a beast known for its ability to adapt to whatever environment it finds itself in. No matter the size, build, or technique of the wielder, Incursio will shape itself to match whatever warrior who wields it. Once it's found its preferred base form, however, the evolutions don't stop there. If the user of Incursio finds themselves in a situation where its base form simply isn't enough, he can will the armor to evolve into a far more powerful state. This kind of enhancement grants the wielder the strength to engage with foes who wield weapons like Grand Chariot, an Imperial Arm considered to be the end result of prototypes like Incursio, or even destroy Imperial Arms considered to be the strongest of all, like the very first. And this is all without factoring in Incursio's trump card. Depending on the skill of the user, Incursio can turn its user completely invisible for a given length of time. Its only weakness is that it's incapable of hiding the user's presence. With all these limit breaking powers and trump cards, what kind of fighting style would make this weapon even more deadly? Ironically, like a suit of armor that strengthens the user's attacks, it's a style perfectly designed for offense and defense. The old wise master is a staple in many shonen anime. The wrinkly prune who at first looks like he's not much trouble, but soon proves he's in a whole nother league of his own. They typically possess skills that the protagonist is seeking to master themselves. However, sometimes they exist just to prove just how redundant they are when compared to the protagonist, even if their skills are nothing to laugh at. Such is the case for the master of fists of flowing water, crushed rock, bang from one punch man. As stated before, this form of martial arts is the ultimate defensive art. It was created by the number 3 s rank hero Bang when he chose to abandon his more aggressive fighting style in his younger years. Much like real life fighting styles like Tai Chi, 
Flowing Water Crush Rock focuses on counterattacks and punishing your opponent when they're off balance with precise, powerful blows. This combined with Bang's years of training allows him to stave off attacks from damn near anything. His former disciple Garo is said to have an imperfect form, and yet he was able to misdirect and defeat other top tier heroes like Metal Bat and Tank Top Master, or even block every bullet fired at him from a fully automatic Gatling gun. A true master, however, is capable of that and much more. Techniques like Water Stream Encampment can create an area where the user's fist destroys anything that enters it, or Piercing Fang, where the user can pierce even the smallest of vital points with a single strike using only their fingertips. And finally, any master of this style can strengthen their physical abilities by utilizing the Awakening Breath, a breathing technique that draws from the very limits of one's own body. Obviously, any normal person using this martial art along with Incursio will be a titanic beast in and of itself. However, like I said, these tools are intended to be used by a giant. Nay, a devil. What's the most horrifying anime world you would never want to visit? Whatever it is, just know that the world in Attack on Titan is far worse, especially if you find yourself a resident on the island of Paradise. Forget the hundreds of man-eating titans wandering around, damn near every nation outside your walls thinks that every member of your race is a devil spawn and won't rest until they wipe you out. Pretty much the only way to fight back against such malice is to be a titan shifter. As the name implies, Titan Shifters are people capable of transforming into nine various Titan forms, with each having its own unique look and power. The abilities have been passed down from generation to generation since the original founding Titan, Ymir, lost her life. The one I've chosen to give my fighter is none other than the Mighty Attack Titan. When the user injures himself, as long as he has a clear goal in mind, he can transform into a 15 meter tall titan. Like all titans, the wielder of the attack titan has the ability to regenerate any injury sustained in combat. Whether it's a simple wound or a missing limb, it will heal in a matter of seconds. What makes the attack titan unique is its incredible strength and endurance. Having what is considered to be the most muscular form than any other shifter, the attack titan can perform great feats such as ripping or knocking off limbs of other titans with a single punch. It can also lift objects weighing hundreds of tons and carry them around without breaking a sweat. And this is just a small example of this titan's incredible resilience. During the Battle of Trost, Eren was able to use the attack titan's power to bring down 20 titans before finally towering out himself. When he sustained heavy injuries while battling other titan shifters, Eren was still able to keep fighting until he gained the upper hand. When summed up, the attack titan is a tough brawler that's always the first to the fight. And it won't stop until it's won. Give him armor like Incursio, and hands like Water Stream Rock Smashing Fist, and it's not stopping at all. Seriously, nothing is stopping this titanic juggernaut. Literally nothing. Hell, forget the rumbling Eren, my fighter is the rumbling personified. He has the skills to make sure you'll never touch him. If by some miracle you do touch him, he has the armor that makes sure you'll never pierce him. And if by even a bigger miracle you manage to pierce it, he has the healing factor to make sure that damage will never stick. And that's all if he allows you to even see him. Hope you brought someone who specializes in sensory skills, otherwise you're dead meat. Should the warriors of the legendary island known as Elbaf were to lay eyes on him, they'd fall to their knees and name him their god. Put any Gundam in front of him and he'll turn it into scrap. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Strike Freedom. And Curcio alone has tanked lasers before, so don't think for a second my boy will ever give up an inch. It doesn't matter how big you are. It doesn't matter what kind of guns you bring to the fight. It doesn't matter what kind of skills you think you have. At the end of the day, all he'll do is look down at you in pity, wonder what made you think you'd be able to win this war. But he is, without a doubt, unchecked. But what do you guys think? Is there an anime big boy out there that could hope to take mine down? How could I have made him any better? 
let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm out. Yeah.